Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. It is Wednesday morning. Time for another installment of seven minutes. Steel toed boot warning this morning. Today's going to be a rant, a continuation of yesterday, but a rant nonetheless. Stay tuned. This is seven minutes in the morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Just for you, Catherine. It's all just for you. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership and entrepreneurship. Uh, when you get here, because I will probably forget, I'm going to be on a tear today. Go ahead and leave a comment. And I'm just going to go ahead and ask for the old thumbs up, stars, likes, uh, whatever's appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening. You can join the masses who have already joined us this morning. Good morning to Catherine, Joe, Jessica, Gail. Thank you all for being here. Appreciate that. So yesterday I talked about finding freedom. <laughs> And then became, maybe it's just the reticular activating part of my brain where, you know, that's the part of your brain where you start thinking about something or you become aware of something. And then you find all these examples of it. And the one I like to use a lot is you go to the car dealer, you find a car that is unique. You've never seen that anywhere before. I like that one. I'm going to get it. You buy it. You're waiting to pull off the lot to pull into traffic and three of them pass you in traffic. They've been there the whole time. You just didn't recognize them. Maybe that's what's going on, or maybe it's something else. But I ran into these three examples, or a, well, I won't, I won't commit to three because I'm, I'm worked up about it this morning. But there are some examples that play into this idea of freedom, and I need to get my quote here so I can make sure that I get it just right for you. The quote that came up today, don't let someone else control what you do in life. It's your decision, your outcome, your life. One more time. Don't let someone else control what you do in life. It's your decision, your outcomes, your life. And yet we do it every day. We let somebody else, we look and, and here. So here's the rant part. Just a warning. It's about to begin. When we look for someone else to hold them responsible for something that doesn't go right for us, we are necessarily, by the virtue of that argument, saying that I was never able to do it on my own anyway. If, if this person or this entity or this group or this corporation or this other thing was the thing that prevented you from being successful, then you were never going to do it on your own in the first place, you have it. If, if they can stop you, then they are necessary to help you finish. And so if you're going to blame them for the failure, then you also have to credit them for the success. And we don't do that. We want to take credit for our own success and blame someone else when it doesn't go the way that we want it to. And that's wrong. It's one reason why I really like the whole moniker of the unashamed nonconformist. If, if stuff doesn't go right, it's nobody's fault but mine. I mean, and I'll give you a great example. I've used this lots of times. I've, I've told you the story here a lot. I won't get too deep into it today, but there was a time I had a business with a partner and, and he and I got sideways with each other and it was ridiculously ugly. The breakup was bad. Lawyers called partners, you know, going divesting from the business. They call that a business divorce and they call it that for a reason because it's worse than a divorce, right? Terrible. I mean, went on for years. It was bad. Ultimately I had to accept that I made a poor choice. I, I made a bad choice in partnering with him. That was it. 
I, I made a bad choice. It wasn't anything that he did. Wasn't any, I mean, it, it was me. I made a bad choice in partnering with him. Now, I did that so that I could get past being mad, angry, depressed, and all the things that went along with that, right? Because at, at some point I realized he doesn't even know I'm mad at him today. And here I am all pissed off and my day's all screwed up and he doesn't even know. It's only ruining my day. So I had to find a way to get past that. And I accepted responsibility for making that bad decision. And then I could forgive myself and then I could move on. And so today it doesn't make me angry anymore. Right. But now I can also apply that to everything else that's going on. If something doesn't go the way that I want it to, I, it, it's me, something that I need to change. Whoa. Uh, the, the, the post, the, the caption that's going along with this video has a couple of examples in it. One of them's using the hairdryer in the shower. You know, the little tag that goes, that wraps around the cord on the hairdryer that nobody ever reads. But if you do, I mean, it's interesting. It tells you not to use the hairdryer in the shower. Do you know why that's on there? Because somebody tried to use the hairdryer in the shower. It didn't turn out well. And, and yesterday, I, this is in the caption also. Yesterday, I found out if you're buying a house and your closing agent doesn't tell you that you might be defrauded by fraudsters on the internet trying to steal your money, that they can be sued for not telling you that that might happen. It's out of control. So the way that we get it back into control is for each one of us to begin accepting personal responsibility for our own outcomes. If it doesn't work out the way you thought, Try something different, right? I mean, it's like trying to ride a bike. And this is the way we treat this stuff a lot, right? I went out and tried to ride a bike and I fell off and it hurt. So I'm not going to try anymore. If you did that, you'd never learn how to ride a bike or walk. Let's just take walking. Most of us can do that. We all fell down learning to walk, and yet we got back up and kept going. If we try something, I mean, you know, spill coffee in my lap. Oh, that's hot. I don't need to do that again. Anyway, here's what I want you to take away from this rant today. I told you this was going to be a rant day today. In every circumstance that comes up where your immediate default reaction is, well, that's not right. They should, if, if they, them, some other person entity, if you feel as though some other entity is at fault, I want you to stop for a second, take a breath. I've been worked up on your behalf, so you don't have to do it. Take a breath and say, okay, what could I have done differently? And just see, just think about, be intentional about this. What could you do differently? that prevents this from happening. It might be find another vendor. Don't do business with them again. I, I, I have a client who says, well, they don't, you know, I, I give them 30 day terms, but they don't pay 60, sometimes 90 days. I was like, then don't give them terms, make it COD. Well, I can't, they, they won't order for me anymore. Great. Because they're using you like a bank. <laughs> I mean, think about, what you could do differently. Okay. I'm going to go through some comments here and try and get my blood pressure to come down a little bit. Ah, whoo. Always see what you're looking for. says Catherine. That's right. You wouldn't have the dream if you didn't already have what it takes to make it happen. A hundred percent agreed. You are uniquely gifted, talented, and placed for an abundant life and to play your role in everybody in the lives of those people around you. You have everything you need. Don't go looking for somebody else. It's all within you already. Just do it. Now, where we get that, that idea screwed up is where we start making that, making it out to be something that it's not bigger or smaller or more left or more right. Just do what you're supposed to do. And those things call to you. I've talked about this a lot. The things that keep coming to mind, like, man, I, 
I keep thinking about starting a business, changing jobs, doing this, doing that. Those things keep coming to you for a reason. Act on them. <sighs> Whew. Anger and unforgiveness hurt you, not the target. 100% agree with that, Catherine. Claymores, this... <laughs> oh, <sighs> yeah. So a Claymore mine is this anti-personnel mine that, you know, infantry uses, Army, Marines, whatnot. And and it's it's curved, right? And on one side of it, it has big letters printed on it. This side toward enemy. I'm just saying, if they didn't put that on there, then maybe I won't even go there. No. When we closed on our house, we had to sign a piece of paper that said we would come back in and sign any papers that we might not have signed during the closing. Okay. So that's it today, folks. Sorry for the... Uh, Getting all worked up on you there, but I mean, look, the, at, at the end of the day, our life, this is the quote today. Don't let someone else control what you do in life. It's your decision, your outcome, your life. Make those decisions, take those actions, and take responsibility for the outcomes, good and bad. I promise you, when you do that, you'll be much happier. So otherwise, you're just waiting on somebody else to make you happy. How's that worked out so far? All right, that's it for today. I'll be back again tomorrow, probably, hopefully, slightly lower blood pressure and a little calmer. Maybe not as worked up, but I will be back tomorrow. Be sure and tune in for that. Oh, for a Thursday edition of Talk, Ra uh, talk Radio of 7 Minutes in the Morning. You guys have a great Wednesday, and I'll talk to you then. Oh, wrong button again. There we go.